I'm Chris Cook. I'm a partner here in Zionic. I've been in the firm now for 21 years. And for the last 15, I've really specialised in leadership and organisational development. So uh, that's my tribe here. For the last 21 years, worked exclusively in, in banking uh, within financial services. And within that, two thirds of the time within uh, global markets. I mean, we all expect when we put our card in the machine, where, wherever we are in the world, we expect the right currency and the right conversion rates and all of those things. And, I was myself a computer scientist, so uh, I know that actually if anything like that works, it, it's a form of magic. Um, so I love engineers, uh, I love working with them. There's no simple answer to changing a culture uh, at scale, but um, if you think of an organisation as a complex social and human system, then you could start to inquire as to where are the points of leverage within that that system, how can you tilt a system? Um, so I tend to look at organizations through the lens of people and how they interact, how they collaborate, and, uh, and what motivates and drives their behavior. Leadership is important to culture change. The, the Greeks have an expression which I love, which is they, they say that the fish rots from the head down. Um, and leaders are role models, uh, people, hang on their every word. Sometimes they're surprised about how disproportionate their impact is on the sentiment and the behavior of organizations. And in a massive organization, almost the only thing you can influence at the top of the house is the culture and uh, the mindset. You have other people who would look, you know, push other um, levers and dials. So that's important, but there's an audience that's also often missed, and that's the middle management. So um, with any large, generally hierarchically organized firm or organization, and, and banks are no exception to this, the role of the middle manager quite often is to ensure stability, repeatability, reliability, predictable performance, which is all fine and necessary for customer service, but it's also the antithesis of change. So leadership often, almost always, has a vision and has a change agenda. So when those two forces interact, you can have leadership saying, saying go, and middle management saying stop. So um, aligning uh, those things is very important. And I think cutting across all of that is, is the talent in the organisation. So you're looking at the upwardly mobile, the rising stars, the cultural ambassadors that are not always easily identified by hierarchical position, but definitely generally identified by respect and reputation. And if you can take those people and, and form them into a community and line that whole community up with the, the change vision, the change goals, the cultural agenda, then you can have a very, very powerful force for change.